Welcome to the Evangel Temple. This is day 29 of 40 Days of Prayer. I'm Billy Adam Calvert. And I'm Jessica Calvert. Today we'd like to read to you from Mark chapter 5, verse 35. On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in a boat, as he was. And the other little boats were also with him. And a windstorm arose, the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already th- filling. But he was in stern, asleep. He was in the stern, asleep on a pillow, and they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind was ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, Who can this be, that even even the wind and the sea obey him? What this tells me is we, we talk a lot about faith. And even back in, in Jesus' early journey, the disciples were with him most of the time. And a lot of times they had little faith. And here it is 2,000 years later, and, and we read about the stories and we're told about the stories and yet we can still have little faith. So I would just say to you, if you know, if, if you're doubting your faith at times, just, just get in this book right here, and it tells you everything you need to know with plenty of stories and parables that just tells about Jesus' life, and it's always good to know. And, and if you got this word in you, no one can be against you. What stands out to me in this little passage is that Jesus told the disciples that they were going to get to the other side. Um, He didn't say, like, possibly, let's try to make it. Let's see what happens. I mean, he told the disciples before they even left that they were going to make it to the other side. And whenever the storm came... Um, Jesus was asleep and a lot of times we're in storms and we have things happen and we feel like Jesus is asleep Um, but and we doubt we don't think we're going to make it through the storm or to the other side but he said we're going to they were going to make it to the other side they doubted and yet they still you know made it to the other side so I just want to encourage everybody that might be going through a storm or a battle that you will make it through and to the other side. One of the scriptures, one of my favorite scriptures, is Romans eight twenty eight, that we know that God causes everything to work together for good for those that love God and are called according to his purpose for them. So everything, in the end, works together for his good. Right, Bill? That's right. <laughs> if you will, join us in prayer. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, we lift up our local leaders, our state leaders, our national leaders. Strengthen them with wisdom and decision-making skills pleasing to you. Lord, I pray this nation sets its eyes back on you and get back to our founding Christian principles. In Jesus' name. And Lord, we just pray for anybody that might be facing some situation that's going through a battle of some sort. Lord, we just pray that you would comfort them, Lord, that you would guide them and lead them. And Lord, give them a peace knowing that they will make it to the other side, that they will get through this battle, Lord, and that you do work everything together for our good, Father. We thank you and we praise you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. And have a great week. Thank you.